Alright, what's up YouTube? I wanted to make a video today showing you um, how to install Ubuntu on your computer with XP already pre-installed. I know a lot of you want to fool around with Linux, but don't exactly know what you're doing. Um, maybe you do know what you're doing, you just haven't quite gotten to it yet. Well, I'm hoping to make a guide here and um, showing you how to to install Linux either just alone on your computer or either or dual boot it with XP. Um, I don't know how to dual boot Vista. I believe it's slightly different, but you can always um, look up online. But currently, I'll be showing you how to dual boot it with XP. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, sorry I have to do the screen part this way. My uh, screen recorder is not doing what I want it to do. So, anyways, um, to download Ubuntu, um, you're going to click on your browser of your choice. So, I'm going to use Internet Explorer. And go ahead and go to Google. Let's see if I can actually type in Google here. I'm using one hand, this is not working. <laughs> Alright, type in Ubuntu, U B U N T U. Um, and then the first link, it says download Ubuntu. Go ahead and just click right there. Alright. And um, you're going to click on Get Ubuntu. I know that's glitched up right now. Hopefully they'll fix that. You'll just say Download. Go ahead and click on that. Alright. Now, see the icon there? It says download Ubuntu, but click on that again. Alright. Now you see here um, that it says desktop or server edition. Click on desktop. Make sure it stays that way. And the second one, you have two options here. Um, you have an option that says standard personal computer or an option that says 64-bit AMD or Intel computers. Most likely, if your computer is a couple years old, um, you're going to want to select standard personal computer um, or if you don't know what your computer is you want to use that but if you know that your computer is a 64-bit has a 64-bit processor in it then by all means download the 64-bit version because that means Ubuntu will take the full um, full advantage of the speedier processor um, basically hopefully hopefully you'll be able to figure that out for yourself I'm I'm not sure I can offer much help there Hopefully you can figure out what your processor is. Um, okay, go ahead and select the nearest location to you and hit start download. Okay. Okay. So now that you've downloaded Ubuntu, you want to burn it to a disk. Um, you can either burn it to a CD or a DVD. Um, it's about 700 megs, so it will take a while to download. Um, but after you download it, it should end up in a .iso file, um, and you want to burn it into a bootable disk. Now, I don't know how to do that in a PC. I've always done it on a Macintosh, and it's really easy to do on a Mac. You just open up the disk um, program, I forgot what it's called, and just drag it in there and burn it. It's really easy. Um, but I don't know how to do it on a PC. Um, you should be able to just easily Google um, how to make a make a bootable ISO CD, or make a bootable CD with Windows. It should be pretty easy. And just burn it. Once you have it burnt, um, you're just going to burn it to a blank disk. Um, and I have mine here. It's a DVD, and I just labeled it Ubuntu 8.04, and this is the AMD 64 version. After you've done that, you're good to go. You want to uh, restart your computer and slap it in the drive. By the way, I forgot to mention, um, just to make your, sure your CD is working before you restart and try to actually see if this thing is working, um, you want us to, um, while you're still in Windows, you want to just throw the CD in and make sure this should pop up um, either automatically within a couple seconds or when you click on your CD drive and it should give you just some basic stuff about Ubuntu um, so just to make sure the CD is doing the correct thing this should pop up or should do this when you ac access the disk in Windows alright okay so I just rebooted my computer it's booting up sorry for the bright splash screen there <laughs> my camera doesn't compensate for light perfect anyways um, so I put the CD in um, Make sure you have your BIOS set to read CD as first and not the hard drive, and it should pop up with something like this. Okay? I don't know. I'm. I know you can't read that. Sorry. It says um, English. Make sure you select English as your main language. Okay? Now you have two options. It says um, try Ubuntu without any change to your computer, or install Ubuntu. Um, you can do either. Um, try Ubuntu will basically um, boot it up in a live session. Um, which will give you a feel for Linux and just give you a feel for the OS. Um, and
and just let, let you feel it around, try it out on, uh, on the CD, or just install it, which will go ahead and install it on your computer. I'm going to start with that, um, so I'm going to hit select that and hit enter. By the way, I'm doing that all with the keyboard, in case you didn't know that. Alrighty, it's going to do this for a little while, and this takes a while. Oh, I got a text message. Alright, I'm going to kill it here. Sorry, it just takes a while. Alright, so after a couple minutes, um, actually that took my computer about five minutes to get here. So if it seems to take forever, it probably is okay. Um, now, if it's ob obviously frozen, like the bar going back and forth has stopped and it's all glitched up, then you probably have a problem. You just want to restart and do it again. It shouldn't be any problem. Um, but anyways, it will take a couple minutes to get here. Just be patient. Let it load. Alright, so after you've done this, go ahead and click forward. Make sure you have English selected over here. Click forward. Now, let me move my tripod here so it doesn't get the screen here. Yeah, it's still messy. Oh, well, sorry. Um, next thing you're going to do is select your time zone. Um, just click here. And I'm going to select Denver because that's my time zone. Alright, after you selected that, go ahead and hit forward. Alright. Um, select USA. USA. That works for most computers. This is just setting up your keyboard. If you want to test it, try it out, make sure it's working. Just go ahead and type down here. And turn the unlock on. Yep, everything's working just fine. Alright, so after you have that, hit forward. Now this is the fun part. It's um, partitioning your drives. Make sure you have all your external drives turned off um, because they will take forever, like forever to um, detect. So unless you're inst installing it on that drive, I would uh, turn them off. Also, just a suggestion of my own, which is something I always do, um, turn off any backup drives that you have um, when doing this. Just unplug them or anything anything you can do because it's I don't think it's worth it to by accidentally format all your backup drives and then have lost everything because you selected the wrong drive. So I would suggest, suggest especially if it's an external drive, just flip the off switch so you don't screw up and install it in the wrong drive. Alright, so here you're going to end up with this all right, you're going to do my suggestion unless you just want to take up the whole entire drive and overwrite your XP. If you do um, use entire disk, that will overwrite everything in your XP drive and erase everything. So if you want to use Ubuntu as your only operating system, use that. If you want to do dual booting, you're going to do manual. Okay? So after you've selected manual, hit forward. This is going to scan the disks. Now, um, the thing you did want to do before um, is partition your drives. You wanted to, if you are installing a one drive, you would need to shrink the XP partition and then make a second partition to install it on. Sorry about that, my camera crapped up again. If you have, um, if you already have um, another partition set up, then go ahead and install it on that or on a separate drive. So once you have this set up, um, I, if you want, please, um, if you want me to show you how to do shrinking partitions, because your XP partition is already too large and you want to install it on that one partition because that's your only drive, or you want to install it on that drive because that's your only drive, I will post a video on how to shrink a partition and then create a new one. But for now, I already have another partition created. So you see here, um, this is a blank partition. So I'm going to select it, make sure you don't have any valuable data because it will be erased. You're going to hit delete, alright, that's going to take a little bit, sorry, okay, now it's going to say free space, okay, you're going to select that, hit new, alright, now what I would suggest right here it says 164, 563 megabytes. I would make it one gig less and I'll show you in a minute. 